Buckle up, please. Drive safely. Let's get downstairs to Eve. All right, Rick, thank you. Well, President Obama, as you know, is now into his second term. And for small business owner and columnist Gene Marks, the inauguration means that the days of uncertainty are now over. Gene joins me now to explain why he's breathing a sigh of relief. Good morning. Good morning. Great to see you. So this is a topic in your new one of your most recent articles on right. Inc.com. Right. Um, so what does the recent uh, inauguration mean to you as a business owner? You were cheering about it? Yeah, you know, it's really interesting. When you look back four years ago, and yeah. boy, we've been known each other for a lot. I know, I know, yes. Uh, and when President Obama you know, took office, think of all the uncertainty that was facing small business owners like right. myself, and think about the uncertainty facing all other people looking at the economy. I mean, you know, the financial system was a bit in disarray. We were in a big recession. Healthcare reform was a big topic. Um, we didn't even know if Brody was a terrorist back in 2008. Right, you know, there was right. a lot of things, a lot of yeah. questions that had to be answered. Here, um, we now know um, that, that, that things have calmed down a little bit. So it's funny, when President Obama was making his inauguration speech, he yeah. did spend time on the economy, but didn't he spend time on a lot of other things sort of non-economy related, like yes. climate change and you know gay rights and immigration reform and things like that. I think that's a telling point that a lot of the uncertainty that the business community was facing has calmed down a little bit. What about, uh, you know, the butting of heads in Washington, Gene, that never yeah. seems to go away over right. things like the debt ceiling, uh, budget crises, et cetera. What does that mean to you as a business owner? Is that kind of scary? Or I can no? tell you, you know, it's, my, my, my dad always said to me, the, the least that Washington does, the better for the businessman, right? Yeah, yeah. And I can assure you this much, over the next two years, no one in the business community is expecting Washington to do anything substantial. So I mean, you think these debates will just continue? They're going to continue. I mean, I mean, we're going to see some political moves. We're going to be seeing. There's things coming up. I mean, there's still the debt ceiling that's going to have to be debated in May. There is a, these automatic sequesters that are going to be happening in, in, in March. These are things that could potentially really impact the economy. But there is just not enough political muscle on either side to have any kind of sweeping changes, any big kind of deficit reform or tax reform or things that are really going to affect you and me in a big way. Mm -hmm. So you, we'll see little things. Maybe Maybe you know, increased taxes on the wealthy or some cuts here and there, but there's no business owners that I know that are saying like, wow, there's going to be some big changes to the world, at least in the next two years. Okay. Uh, but wait until November of 2014, yeah. right? Yeah, jury's still out on that, right? right? I know you've been on uh, before and we've talked about um, health care reform legislation right. and the impact that could have on small business. Do you think we'll see any movement there? Yeah, so, um, well, first of all, all the movement's pretty much been done. I mean, right. it, it's law. It is the Supreme Court has blessed it. It is happening. And, and for any small business person that's saying that trying to deny that fact that they're hurting themselves. It yeah. is going to happen. And I don't really care whether you agree with health care reform or not. Um, you have to make plans for it. But again, from a business owner's perspective, when we talk about uncertainty, um, this is certain. Like we know on January 1st, you know, if you have, if you don't have health insurance, you're going to have to pay a penalty. Right. If you employ more than 50 people in your company and you don't carry health insurance, you're going to have to pay it. But we know that. We know what the amounts are. We don't know what the long-term effects are going to be on the economy, but we know what the effects are on us. That's pretty certain. So here we sit in January of 2013. Got to make some plans. Yeah, and let's talk about uh, your action plan, at least for the next two years. What do you as a business owner intend to do? Well, I mean, for starters, um, because the economy is going to be growing, uh, but slow growth, mm -hmm. um, it's all about marketing and it's all about keeping your overhead low. So the smart business people that I know um, are going to be really out there scrambling to keep their customers happy, but also to keep their overhead low. And I, I have to tell you something, Eve, um, I myself don't have any big hiring plans. Um, I was just recently reading like a survey by uh, Dell Computer did something in the Philadelphia area, mm -hmm. um, and their survey found that two thirds of small businesses in the Philadelphia area do not plan to hire. Yeah, we just did a story about that the other day. Isn't yeah. that amazing? So, and, and it's because it's a slow growth economy. So that's what the plan is, is to kind of keep the money intact. So what are you going to do? Well, you're going to try to get more done with your own people, and you're going to try and outsource as much as you possibly can. And, you know, nowadays, the way technology is, there's a lot of websites available. There's a lot of opportunities to find people around the world to do the work. Um, a lot of business owners are going to do that rather than bring somebody on full time. Doesn't help the unemployment rate very much or people looking for jobs, right. um, but that's just what it is. So best advice for business owners out there as we start a new year? Yeah. Hold firm. Okay. You, know, you can take a few risks, but not anything big. Um, you really have to look ahead to 2014 if there's going to be any changes. My advice to you is that uh, you can make decisions knowing that in the next two years, not a whole lot is going to be changed by Washington, nothing significant. Okay, well, good for your blood pressure level. Fair I enough. Your stress level, yes. right? All right, Gene, you can read Gene's full article, by the way, on Inc.com, and we'll have a link on our website, WFMZ.com. Thanks for coming in. Great Thank to you. see you. Thanks. And stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back after this.